Hello everybody, Killer Tia here. My apologies if you hear kids in the background. It's Christmas Eve and they're getting excited for Christmas and such, but enough about that. I got a package from Hapog. Let's open it up, see what it is. Well, I already opened up this box, but yeah, let's take a look at the inside here. <gasps> Bubble wrap. No, but the real store number... <clears throat> The real show is the Hapog HD PVR60, which is 60 frames per second at 1080p. The last model, the um, Hapog HD PVR2, can do 60 frames per second at 720p, but at 1080 it was limited to 30. So with this device, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And yes, I know there have been device release. Other devices release, I can do the same thing, but I kind of prefer Hapog's products more. Take a look at the side here. Like, little specs and such, what the feature has on the back. And more specs on the back here. Okay, let's go on ahead and get our knife and cut this one open. There we go. Okay. Ah. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need a little bit of muscle here. There we go. Open it from right here. Up. Oh, that's um that's the um free six months code for X split here. The, gonna edit that out in post production. Um, two quick install guide for the HD PVR60. Most stuff. Let's see. We'll save that for last. We have our HDMI cable, and we have a USB 2.0 cable. Hmm. I was wondering it was a 3.0 device here, but. We'll check it out later. And then, last but not least, the HD PBR60. Looks very similar to the original HD PBR2, like, pretty much almost the same height and everything. Obviously, there is some differences. The nice silver plating on top, instead of just the plain old black in the original model. On the back here, we got HDMI in on the HD360, HDMI out, and a USB output, or USB connection. Compare that to the PVR2, we got HDMI in, HD, okay, that HDMI in, HDMI out. Components for AV, USB, and a power plug there. So obviously, if you're going to get this device for retro gaming, that's not going to happen. It's only going to take a um, any devices that do like HDMI output, and that's it. And, well, the trade-off is that you don't need additional plugs to power out the device. It's power up straight through the USB device. So, yeah, so there is definitely a lack of... Analog inputs, but the try off is no external power needed. So, anyways, I'm gonna go on ahead and get this hooked up, play around with it, and um, have fun with it. So, catch you all next time, guys. Care package. 
package on standby. UAV, ready for deployment. Demo KIA. 